Welcome back to the fire that is Pokemon Z. In the last episode, we... I believe we confronted the Captain Murlot, and we took him down to realize that we're not with the bad guys. And then we made it here. Next up, this episode, we're going to head to the left. Are you on a battle game, my dude? Yep, looks like it. Oh. You have intercepted me again and trolled in my music fire. At this rate, you're going to think that I'm an irresponsible trainer who gets distracted along the way. Well, I have to say that I've been trying my best since we ran into that tall woman from Team Athos. My dude, I still feel chills. Give me a chance, I will show you I'm not lying. Will you grant me a Pokemon battle? I'm on normal. Do I have? I do. I'll stay in now. Nope. nope. Right, now we're gonna switch because you got three. I'm not dealing with that. And you just do that. Really? Not cool, dude. Wiggly Tough is starting to get annoying, my dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that Wiggly Tough was a pain in the butt. Marowak. I think he's a rock type? Rocks? Whoa! Horse. That is really pissing me off. Adios. You were oh. a pain in the butt. It's always a pleasure to fight with you, Fire. Melia, Professor Oliver, you. How lucky I have been. Such prestigious companions. Mm. What a joy for the eyes to see two young men enjoying their youth and their joy. Major Lanto, how are you around these parts? It would be strange not to see me wandering my own land from time to time, wouldn't it? This route belongs to my wealthy feet at home. Mon petit Christian. I, I am so sorry. You have been br brutally brutalized your home with clumsy Pokemon battle. Just the opposite. Your noble art of combat and en trance enhances the image of these guardians. In fact, I would want to invite you to my chateau and experience a pleasant evening together. You really want us to grant us such an exclusive honor to <laughs> us. See for Pata. You'll be excellent companion. In addition to the good master that Anaba is already there. She has come to my domain to propose a collaboration. If we have our professor consent, we would love to join the evening. The Scholar Hexmas already said it. When someone opens the door to their house to you, oh. he opens the heart door to his heart for you. I fully agree with the Scholar's fixes. There's a reason I have all of his volumes. Of course, I tried to worship a mind as illustrious as yours. Forgive me again. 
So let's just go now. My chateau is right here. We can even spend the night so we can enjoy long lectures on current affairs. Yes. Restore all. I'm gonna say that's a full restore. I did not want to go battle you. I'm so weak. Money, money, gotta like money. Big house. I'm truly sorry I cannot entertain you with a great banquet. I have a large part of my staff on vacation. Don't worry, Monsieur, you don't deserve that much either. You said before that Professor Oliver was in the house, but where? Did I say such a thing? Ah. Of course, excuse my mental cloud. I reiterate that she is here as a guest. They are probably be giving a tour of the rooms. There's a lot of nice things to see here, you know. If you excuse me, I'll go look for her right now. Please make yourself comfortable and drink all of the wine you want. I don't like this music. I still can't believe we it. We are at Chateau Lanteau. They say there are more works of art in here than in the Lumia Museum itself. Would it be very indecent to ask you to take a tour for me? That... Huh? Did... Didn't you think we saw a member of the Adros in that hallway? What nonsense. It would be someone from the service and my mind has played trick. So. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Heal up real quick to get that file refilled. So at least we have a vial to work with. Because I am not liking this situation right now. Sneaky, sneaky. Mm -hmm. Come on, are they making all these mansions with hidden rooms? My eyes usually don't save me fire. I'm sure there's a rational explanation. But the individual from before was from Team Athens. Let's go! Oh, whoops. Oh. <sighs> I 
Hey, you shouldn't be hanging around here. Of course I shouldn't either. But what if we pretend we haven't seen each other? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Now it's just plain rude, man, dude. Plain rude. Ooh, special axe. Don't mind if I do. Perfect. I did not kill. I am surprised by that. I got. I got. I got. Um, you kind of deserve to die now. Oh, that's cool. Miss Lentil lent us his message a secret base of operation. It doesn't matter if I tell you, because I plan to sweep the floor with you! Have you come across a room full of mirrors? Maybe you should examine them. I tell you this because I've had a drink of truth. Now that's right. Oh, let's go, Pikachu. Can you not? Oh, okay. Oh, that's not creepy.
That is a no noiver. As long as using fan. Oh, never mind. Oh, nice. I think I, I do have a revive. Nice! Now that we beat that person, that thing's gone. No.
I wonder. Hold on. Ah, here we go. That's why. Aha! Clever! Did not realize these were all standing up. I wonder what's this portal take me? Oh, it's just a portal. Okay. Now right, let's go up. Aren't you scared enough after our last encounter? What does this all mean? You have set up the entire laboratory in Monsieur Lanto's house. And you are experimenting with Pokemon? I'll make sure that Monsieur finds out about this. <laughs> it's cute. You have a lot of admiration for Monsieur, right? All this has been your order. Monsieur Lanto is the one who finances Team Athos projects. <laughs> Impossible, but why would I do something like that? Why would I do something like that? The Pokemon are suffering. No one in their right mind. Ask him, yes. I'll ask him when you see him, okay? I'm just making sure the experiments come to fruition. On to relax and witness the marvel we are about to operate. Thanks to the Golden Crystal and a document Professor, Professor Spa Sapan that you have indirectly obtained for us, we have the keys to understanding the mechanism of life and death. But Crystal was in the hands of our Professor. What have you done to Professor Oliver? You. Give the energy to the crystal. Let's check if your calculations have been correct. <laughs> no, it cannot be. Oh god, oh gorgeous. The theories were correct. The sap of the eternal tree that was inside the crystal has reacted to the energy and has been able to transfer the life force of one Pokemon to another. But this has been perfected. We will do it on a larger scale, and we will be able to manipulate light as we wish. Don't you feel lucky that this is the last thing you see? Now, time to pulverize you. Oh, 
Crown Doom. Coming in clutch. Evil goes down. Double the dark bubbles. Let's go! Impossible, the feet of my own laboratory, my personal sanctuary. Oh. Have you been heroes enough yet? Don't you realize you are acting against scientific morality? <laughs> what you are trying to do has no morality at all. Trying to control these who lives and who dies like you did with these two, those two Pokemon. It's terrifying. Human beings should not have so much power. Oh yes, don't give the Ember any more. Now, are you going to quote some professor you have read in a book? Look, I'm leaving. If you have any complaints about the approach of our investigation, shoot him with a Zor Lanto. You have, you have seen the same thing as me, haven't you, Fire? One Pokemon was alive, another was dead, he, and their status have been swapped. There's new scientific ad advance here. It is witchcraft of the darkest kind. And Lanto is the one who financed this nonsense? We have to ask him for explanation. Furthermore, it is possible that may, he may hurt Professor Alaval. It is time to evolve our Pikachu! <laughs> Puffy cheeks! Professor Annabelle! Oh. Ouch, couldn't you just sit still for a little while? I just need to give you one of my special wines to drink to knock you out. And you'll wake up being my personal toy collection. <laughs> it is not so much as Annabelle. Well, although she hadn't resisted so much, I would not have had to tormented her like this. At least I can thank you in a more personal way. But you let me pull the strings and got me everything Team Athos needed in its investigation tray being. We have seen what you are doing. Heartless, I trusted your honesty. His philosophy, his million dollar donation to Alchemist, it was all a cabal. Fire, Cristiano, get out of here. This man is a monster. Neither a man nor monster. Soon I will be a god on earth. So that's what this is about. Are you looking for the formula of immortality to live forever? A very childish goal for a villain. I expected something higher from him. That is not our goal. My lady, this is as terrible as a red sunset mountain. Take the professor down from their lantern. You know I don't tolerate these excesses. Take good care of your mentor. His mind is very valuable, one of those that should be preserved for posterity. You must be the leader of Team Athos, right? Lantos says, just says the money. So if you're not seeking immortality with these investigations, what the hell are you pursuing? The questions for immortality is just the first step. What I really want is the end the cycle of death. Life and death forever. <laughs> oh, 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 and I will be there to witness such a work of art. Ah. You know, I have had a life full of excesses, of extreme pleasures that a man would not dream in a thousand lifetimes. And now nothing stimulates me. My brain is totally broken. But then she appeared and offered me something different. A dream so impossible, so beautiful, with which I feel something again. 
giving the word immortality is useless if we do not also stop the creation of new life. That is why it's necessary to extinguish both forces, the one that causes life and the one that causes death. In this way, we can become the last generation of humans and people, a generation frozen in time that will be able to cover the world in gold without fear of disappearing or being replaced by another. Fool, you're going to give me a headache. See if I understand it correctly. Nobody dies, nobody is born. We stay at the same thing, seeing the same face every day. Tremendous idiocy. Life must make its way according to natural order. Live, develop, die. Let those who come after continue to continue our inheritance. In addition, our mind is not prepared to face an eternity alive. At some point, we need to transcend and go beyond. Precisely, Alava, we have will transcend. What I pursue is the evolutionary leap that we are destined to make at some point. Pokemon were created to offer us the keys to that evolution. You should have realized, you who study them. It is imperative that we become the eternal generation and build an everlasting perfection before war, famine, or disease wipes us all out. These dull-minded idiots will never understand. Let me break them like they were my little toys. Reprimand them if you want, but do not kill them. I want you to think about all this. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I'm going to start having fun with fire. You just like doing spikes, don't you? Ugly. I actually do not have anything. <clears throat> Did you really have to lose me? And Frogly is out of here. Lilligan. To our new, to our new friend. Ooh, that is a new little again. Ow! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh wait, what are you on? Actually, I have a revive. I have a revive. I have a revive. Oh, wrong one. So dead. Wow. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this battle again. <clears throat> Wow. 
Rogalee. Let's go to Bavaro this time. How did she dodge when he was asleep? Oh, that was just obliteration. Getting annoying, my dude. Jesus. Let's go. Oh. But, but, how dare you humiliate me in my own house, you miserable scum. I swear by the eternal tree that I will. Stop this pitiful spectacle, Lento. You have had enough fun. But I'm not done with them yet. They have earned the freedom with atrocious determination. They have the right to a second chance. You are the type of people who bring positive value to the golden world I intend to forge. And I hope to be able to count on you on my side one day. That's all. I have more important matters to tackle than this. You will just let us go? Even though we can report everything we have seen, huh? Ha ha ha, ridiculous. Don't you see, I am the richest and most influential man of all Kalos, even above the king's whippersnapper. Go luck to trying to mess us up. This won't stay like this, Lanto. We will find a way to unmask your crimes. And why don't you find a way to leave my house? Let's go. Get out! You are no longer welcome here. I want to see when this guy evolves. 45. You are nuts. But I think that's a good spot to wrap up. Next episode, we will make our way to the next town, potentially get out of this nightmare of a castle. And see what we can do to stop these guys. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe if you're enjoying this playthrough, and feel free to leave any comments in the comment section. With that being all said, I'll see you guys in the next episode.